Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to control your audio with Sonar, split, EQ, and route your audio for streaming with music. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Sonar from SteelSeries is a SteelSeries app. It's a lot like voice meter in many different ways in the sense that you can EQ any audio input or output. So that means you can input anything that's coming in, game, media players, Spotify, Chrome, anything at all that's connected to your PC or playing audio, you can EQ it quality to life improvements with EQ and I think that's a great option. This has a lot of benefits for gamers as it will help with adjusting how good you can hear footsteps, flash grenades, and other in-game things that you might need to listen for for audio cues. Same as you could make things like grenades make no sound. You can just EQ the experience you want and if you just want to stop music from playing on your stream this app can do it. So this app can do a lot of different things and the thing I'm going to go over today is how to add it all to OBS, how to use it, and how to route your music into OBS so that it doesn't play on stream. This will allow you to listen to your music while it's playing in your ears without having to worry about a copyright strike on your Twitch account. For this to get started, we want to just jump over to Sonar's website. This is just steelseries.com and for me, we're just going to go into the software and we're going to go to GG. This is just going to download the app that launches the Sonar. So it comes in the GG package and you can download it here. It will give you all three options, but all three options I'm pretty sure make you download the GG. So give that one a click and click the free download for Windows or Mac. Once it's downloaded, we're just going to give it a click and install it like any other application. So give it a click, click yes, and it'll unpack the data. This will take a few minutes. We're just going to close this here website while we wait. We no longer need this. Now, even though this here is SteelSeries app software, you do not need a SteelSeries headset to use it. It's still going to give you virtual inputs and virtual outputs. You'll be able to use it with any amount of hardware, headset, uh, headphones, earbuds, speakers, just anything. You'll be able to set all your inputs and outputs customly, even though it's going to add a few virtual ones for the SteelSeries. The SteelSeries headset's not required though. Keep that in mind. We just want to click next and accept. This here installation is going to take a few minutes, so I'll get back with you in a moment. Once the installation is finished, it should have changed some of your Windows sound devices by default. So when you click finish, it should set your Windows devices. I'm just going to go down here. And your device should be set to this SteelSeries Sonar Virtual Audio Device. So it should be set to this here in the desktop, which is perfectly fine. That should be what it's set to. And I'll go over here to, in the sound settings, you can go down to the mixer option. It's just down here, volume mixer. It should be set to output device and input device. So the microphone and the headphone should be set here. You don't need the microphone. You can set this here back to your normal one. If you're not going to EQ it any, you can just set that to your normal one. Now we're going to close this here. The software is open. We're just going to click on sonar. Now this has a lot of different options. In here, the first ones we're going to select, we want our game. We want this here going through our headset. So we're going to set it to our headset or your speakers, depending on what you're using. I want to set these here through my Astro headset. And I want to do this here for all of these. So I'm going to set the top three. I'm going to set the gaming and the chat one to the same. And then I'm going to go over here to the media and set it as well. Now the media in the media one, you noticed when it popped up, it said add to device routing. Now this is really cool. We're going to open OBS here and we're going to open media player. I already have it open here, but I'm going to open media player over here for this here example. And we're just going to go in here. Okay. I'm going to turn some noise on in the background. We're just going to open up a stream here. Okay. Once the stream is open, we can see it here. We can click play over here. We can see the music comes up here and we can see it stops. So while this is playing, we'll go over here to the media and we'll click, we'll turn that down. We'll turn the stream down here too. We just needed some extra volume. Now what we'll do is click add to device routing. Now this is going to open up a window setting. This is going to go back to the mixer where we were. Now from here, what we want to do is we want to scroll all the way down here to where we see the Windows Media Player or Spotify or whatever you're using. It depends. We're going to click this one here. I know we have no sound on it right now, but we'll turn it up and we can see it moving in OBS here. When we click this drop down and we click this output device, we want to select the one that says Steel Series Sonar Media. First thing we click this, Windows will no longer set it up. Once you have that there selected, we can just close this. Now for to be able to see it down here, like I have it in the desktop to audio for that, all we'll have to do in OBS is go to settings and in audio I have it selected as desktop audio 2. I have the sonar media steel series virtual audio device selected and I just click OK. Now I can still hear it in my ears. You guys can still hear it here because I'm I'm video capturing from a second computer but in here they won't be able to hear it. So when I turn stream back up so you'll be able to hear that and stream will no longer hear your music. So this is one way just like voice meter that you can make it so that your music no longer shows up on 
stream. So this will prevent you from getting like copyright strikes and stuff like that. There we go. We'll just give that a mute. But that's all you really needed to do. And that will add it here. I added it as a second source so I can unmute it and mute it. This will allow me to be able to play it on stream when I want to. And then when I just want to play some relaxed music that maybe has copyright on it, I can just click the mute and that'll prevent my stream from hearing it. But I will still be able to hear it in my ears the whole entire time. I find that super awesome. You can do this with more than one app. You can do this here for the, the aux as well. You just set it to your headphones again. The same every single time. You set it to the device you want it to hear it through. You want to hear it through. And then you can add it to device routing, which is going to open up the windows. And all you have to do is just set whatever it is, whether it's Spotify or like Windows Media Player or even something like Chrome. If you want to put Chrome into it, all you'll have to do is just add Chrome the same way, put it in the output device and find the one that says aux. See, there's media, there's gaming, there's microphone and there's aux. So you'll have two virtual devices that are going to be on used and you can set them up so that you'll be able to have it two of these here devices don't show up on stream so i find that super cool this is a replacement for voice meter this is so much easier to set up than voice meter and it's just a lot cleaner looking i super enjoy the the way that it looks and there's a few more things that we can actually do in here that i find very beneficial so these here tabs have game chat media aux and mic so that you can tune each one of these with eq now i'm i'm not very good at eq i'm not an eq master so i definitely suggest going and watching somebody that is really good at doing eq because they could actually help you quite a bit like if you're competitive gameplay and you want to hear footsteps if you want to hear flash grenades better if you don't want to hear grenades you can fine tune it so that you can hear the game better than just somebody that's not EQing the music or their game so over here in the game tab it'll have configuration it'll have a drop down menu for me like I said I'm going to use just what's in this drop down menu I'm going to I play apex so I'm going to click the apex on now this here is going to tune up a lot of footsteps this is your footsteps here you're going to be able to hear them so crisp and far away and so much nicer this is an advantage and a competitive edge if you're looking for one this here will give you one this will allow you to amp up footsteps foot it'll allow you to get rid of the sounds you don't need and then boost up the ones that you do need so if you don't want to hear the grass or the wind or the rockets from the jet when you're landing and stuff like that there you can tune all that out so that it's not near as loud and you can make footsteps more prominent here and like i said i don't know how to eq each different thing but what you can do is pick from the drop down menu and go through and just select a lot of different ones there's already a lot of games on here and these well boost up a lot of the things like footsteps grenades flashbangs things like that it will change the sound of the game quite a a bit and depends on your headset this could make it sound better or worse it should definitely give you an advantage on what you can hear for footsteps and other noises like that so that's something to keep in mind that's one of the things i super love about this here software like voice meter you can tune a lot of the things in voice meter yourself but it's the same thing you gotta go google search a bunch of stuff this here's got a drop down menu i can pick a few i'm done i can just continue playing with my mixer add my things change my volumes in here if i want i can change the whole mix if i want i can make it so that my chat's louder so if i have two different audios picked here which i do don't. I have the two same audios but if I have like another input for like my discord or something like that it does have it so that you can have it in your headphones so that you hear one over the other I find that super cool as well but that's really it for this one here that's all the settings I can think of I just wanted to cover this really quickly I find this here great for APEC let me know what you think of it let me know what your experience has been like with it do you prefer it over voice meter definitely voice your opinion down in the description below I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about this I'm just skimming over it because I've only just started using it I just wanted to go over a quick how to set it up with OBS so that you could play your music on stream without actually playing your music on stream. I think that's pretty cool and one of the things that I actually am going to be using this here for. But that's really all the time I have for this one here. I just wanted to do a fast how to and get started up in OBS. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.